Hi, this is the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Wednesday, March the 19th. My name is Barry Anderson, and I'm the moderator of the trading room. And this is the address to get into the room. And you can log in as a guest, or you can use your Facebook or your Twitter account to log in. Well, let's get right to the charts. I'm going to bring, should bring up the SPY first. And today was FOMC Minutes Day. The minutes are released at 2 p.m. And so it's always a good idea, certainly right before the minutes are released, to be very cautious. Uh, it doesn't matter what side you want to take, uh, long or short. You just never know what's going to happen in these minutes. And so what happened is they basically announced that they're going to taper the buying program. So, of course, the, the market reacted immediately downward. It had a bit of a recovery for an hour, and then it just got hit really badly again. These are five-minute candles. So you can see, I mean, this is a tremendous uh, downturn right here and with, with some recovery at the end of the day. But, you know, the market certainly looked for an excuse to sell off, and it uh, definitely got one. I just want to show you a trade that I was in, uh, VTR. I had mentioned it in the room. And uh, so this is after, let me just bring up a comparison uh, chart with the uh, SPY. So right here is when the, the minutes were announced. And so there was a downturn right there and VTR went down with it. And this came into my bounce play uh, top list. And I, so I called it in the room that I was going to take this trade right around this area. And I did. And, you know, retrospect, I, I, I should have sold right here at the top. Because look what happened. Now we have this downturn again in the SPY. That was that those two five-minute candles that really hit the SPY hard. And it basically wrecked this trade. I was very fortunate to get out just before that happened for, for um, you know, a, a few cents. But as this was happening, I, I, I was bailing. And I thought, okay, um, there's something going on. I didn't know what was going on exactly. Because usually, you know, you don't see. This is such a delayed reaction to this uh, first reaction. But at any rate, this goes to show again that the bounce plays are great but you really have to have the market at least neutral i mean it doesn't have to be uh, uh going up for you even but it, it, you can't see something like this and expect a bounce play to work so let's take a look at a couple of the trades that i actually uh, uh took and posted in the room uh hpq now this is from my 20-day high break and again if you're not familiar with this uh, I have a bunch of other filters in place, but the trigger is when a stock hits, uh, makes a, a, tw a new 20-day high. And what happens for me is I've coded this, I've color-coded this strategy so that just before I was watching HPQ and I was watching how close it was getting to the 20-day high, which was 3071, and the minute that happened, HPQ turned from white to, to blue. And so when that happened, I was able to get into the trade at 3076. I took half out at 3092. Again, just cautious uh, in case it was in case it was going to get stalled at the whole number. Uh, HPQ, I've tried I've traded this in the past, and I, typically it doesn't. I don't find it has the huge range. Just like I said about Microsoft yesterday. Um, and but you know today obviously it did. But I was I got out at 3092 at the first half. And then I watched it break through 31, and I was obviously uh, pretty excited about uh, uh, at that happening and hoping it was going to keep going. But when this red bar started in, I decided to sell the other half at 3101. And, you know, I would have got probably stopped out. I mean, it, it went all the way. Uh, let me just get rid of the spy here so we can see the uh, the actual numbers. This this uh, this went down to 30, uh, 3085. And, you know, basically took out probably a lot of stops, a lot of people looking uh, to, to get stopped out uh, if, if it broke down uh, through th uh, through the whole number of 31. And so, unfortunately, that's, that's what happened to me. I, I was one of those, but did make some money on it, and it was fairly early trade for me. These are five-minute, uh, this is a five-minute, can these are five-minute candles, so fairly early trade for me. So, even though, you know, it really uh, it took off for the rest of the day and, and it really actually it, it was counter to, to what the rest of the market was doing. Uh, stellar performance by HBQ today. Now, the other one, and I didn't post in the room, but this is this very, very similar. Let me just uh, bring up UNH, uh, type it in here. Just one second. And you can see that UNH was uh, virtually the same as 7857 uh, was the break right here very early. So it broke right here, right in this candle, and had a beautiful, beautiful rise for the rest of the day. So I'm now looking at these. Uh, you know, they weren't working as well over the last uh, little while. But 
uh, they appear even yesterday I had a couple and today a couple more that uh, work really really well so certainly I'm going to pay attention to these ones again now let me just out bring up the last one another one that I posted in the room again was a bounce play and again I was alerted to the stock right around this area here so you can see what I'm looking for I have a bunch of red candles coming down and it's uh, and it's uh, down a significant amount over a um, um, I think it's a five minute period that I'm looking at so when this happened I basically took the stock right above right above this red candle here at 3209 and took half at 32.23. I was not expecting, I was ex expecting maybe it would get up to 32.43. I mean, well, maybe not exactly there, but that's where I was expecting it to maybe stall. I had about a 10 cent stop on that. So uh, not not a two to one on, on that portion, but not bad. And then uh, as it was chopping around this area, I took the rest out at 32.17. I took it out right right there actually. And so, I mean, not, not fantastic, but again, with, with a fairly tight stop, not a bad risk reward on it. Now, I do want to show you one, uh, let's see, one strategy that I actually very, um, I guess fortuitously, I dusted this off last night. So let me, let me bring this over here. And when I say dusted it off, I, I've been looking for other strategies now uh, because some, some of the ones I'm getting... I have now I don't seem to be um, uh, giving me many alerts so I decided to take a look at this one I, I've had this one for quite a while and I typically don't uh, look at stocks under five dollars but I'm sure that if you traded today you would have seen this one and this is ISR and you can see I got the alert at uh, one of the first one at 123 so very very early I mean this is 123 is right here so it's not like I got the alert you know halfway through its huge move but I got the alert right around this area and what a performance by it. I mean, it hit a, it actually broke through three. I know some of the room took this trade. I didn't take the trade. I'm not going to tell you that I took this trade, but uh, I was very interested in this strategy. And certainly I'm going to be following this tomorrow, the strategy. And even some of the other alerts that came in the strategy, nothing obviously as dramatic as this, but I think every one of them, except for perhaps one, would have given me a profit of some sort. I'm not saying that they would have ended, if I'd held them all day, they would have ended up in a profit position, but they gave me a profit of some sort. So I'm certainly going to uh, take a look at this tomorrow uh, a lot more closely. As I say, I haven't used this one for months. And again, it just goes to show that you should never, ever just completely throw out a strategy just because it may have not worked for a while. Uh, always, uh, always check it. Uh, you know, you can bring them back. You just file them away and bring them back and because you just never know. Uh, you know, had I traded ISR today, it would have been, you know, actually would have probably been one of my best trades uh, of the year had I had I taken it at this level. So anyway, that's what I did today. And let me just last time bring in the uh, the trading room address here's how to get in and again you can log in as a guest or use your Facebook or Twitter account to log in hope to see you in the room tomorrow and good trading for you on Thursday